Before the plywood sheathing goes up, the door jam must be installed. The door jam is made from three 2x6s, two for the side jams and one for the top. Recall that a portion of the tongue of the beam above the entrance was removed before it was installed. As you can see here, that was done to provide a flat surface for the door jam's installation. Each 2x6 is cross-cut to fit the dimensions of the entrance, and then rip-cut to a width of four and a half inches to match the width of the wall. The door jams are nailed and glued to the wall beams. The plywood installed on the exterior and interior of the room provides additional impact resistance against debris that may be picked up by strong winds and thrown toward the home. Two four-foot by eight-foot sheets of plywood are nailed to the exterior of each of the four walls, and two sheets are installed on the interior surface of each wall and the ceiling. The full exterior height of the room, in other words, the height of the walls plus the thickness of the ceiling, is 90 and 3 quarter inches. The surface of each interior wall measures 87 inches wide by 86 and a quarter inches high. The ceiling measures 87 inches by 87 inches in the interior of the room. The individual sheets of plywood are cut to the dimensions necessary to cover the surface where they will be installed. This equals 48 inches by 90 and 3 quarters inches for each of the exterior walls, 43 and a half inches by 85 and a quarter inches for each of the interior walls, and 42 and 3 quarters inches by 85 and a half inches for the ceiling. Note that all of these dimensions are included in the accompanying construction guide. The sheets that will cover the door wall must also include a cutout for the entrance. Before nailing the plywood in place, construction adhesive is applied immediately before installing the plywood panels to assure good bonding. The adhesive is critical to making the plywood an integral part of the assembly. One bead of wood construction adhesive is applied in a serpentine pattern up the full height of the wall. Two rows of 16D nails are used for each beam in the wall while three screws are used at the roof beams. All nails are spaced every four inches horizontally, totaling 12 nails per row. The same process is repeated for the other half of the same wall, and again for the interior and exterior surface of each remaining wall. These two panels are also glued and nailed in place. Note that plywood is not required on the roof exterior, as there may be limited overhead access. If possible, however, installing plywood to the roof exterior will provide added protection. Though exact cut dimensions are provided, field measurements should be made before cutting plywood.